Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday live stream. We got a lot of things to cover, so let's just jump right in. So, just like the title and the thumbnail suggest, what we're going to take a look at is uh, some things that are going on in the ecosystem. Of course, that is Solana. Now, before we jump into it and talk about this, I will just say that uh, to preface it with everything we're going to talk about, this is an ecosystem issue. This is not an issue that is constrained to the chain that is Solana. So this isn't like Solana got hacked or this isn't because of Solana did something wrong. It is within the ecosystem and the wallets and everything else. So let's just make that crystal clear before we go on. So having said all that, let's take a look at the meme coin craze that's been going on. And we we all love the, the, the cheap and easy type of uh, funds that we can get from this nonsense, this debauchery that is the degenerate gambling of meme coins. I have nothing against that. Matter of fact, I did it myself. And uh, I ended up losing <laughs> one Solana in roughly an hour. I'm going to show you how I lost it. So this is a site called Deck Screener. I link this in the description. You can check it out yourself. Very good site. Got a lot of information that uh, makes things a heck of a lot easier to find the next big meme coin gem. So what we're taking a look here is <clears throat> you, can, you can organize this any way you want to. Like you can, uh, there's different uh, filters. Like I like to just put it into 24 hours, see what new has been coming out. And then we can rank it or put in the filter. But all I can do is take a look at the liquidity because if it has no liquidity, what's the point, right? So you can put in like, uh, well, I put in a million. You can put in a hundred thousand, but good luck with that. And then I just hit apply and I see what's out there. Okay, in the last 24 hours, these new pairs have come up and the liquidity, ru liquidity roughly is, is millions in the millions, right? And we can see that, uh, okay, Costco hot dog, that looks pretty good. The one we talked about, cat in a dog's world, cat with hat, M <laughs> MF for coin and so on and so forth. So of course the names are irrelevant. They're just fun, they're light. And of course, remember this is essentially gambling. So when I did that, I found this, uh, what looked like could be a potential gem. And it was called Machi BB or Machi Big Brother. And when I put this in, it actually had some decent liquidity. It would look pretty good. So like I got it like right at like 320 yesterday, right? And uh, let's see, today is, yeah, 30th of March, that's yesterday. And uh, I was like, okay, you know, I'll gamble, roll the dice, no big deal. One salon, I'm not gonna, not gonna crush me if I lose it. I'm following the rules, meaning that uh, it's all gone. That uh, if I lose a salon, which, <laughs> which I did, that uh, hey, you know, it's not gonna crush me. It's not gonna kill me. So you can see here that in the first like 20 minutes, like 3:20 when I got in, just a little bit of a candle, right? I'm like, okay, just got in. And then this next one, I'm like, hey, I'm a genius. I'm up like 50 bucks or whatever it was. And then like. In an hour, I'm like, hey, this is even better. And then within like an hour and a half, uh, boom, everything got sold. So I was like, well, whose fault is that? Is that those, those darn traders that are out there? Is that the ecosystem that is Solana screwing me over? Is that the people that developed this, this, this project, Machi BB? No, it's my fault because I was gambling. I know that, right? We're all big kids. We're all big boys and girls. That's just how it is. And I was like, well, that's, that's fun. This will make for an interesting, interesting video tomorrow. So I lost essentially one Solana in roughly two hours. So yay me. But uh, then I started to think about it. And of course, you know, here it is. I still have the Machi BB of 187,886 worthless tokens in my phantom wallet. <laughs> and then I remember this, what me and Steven were talking about. This was like a couple, I think it was like over a week ago. And uh, I call, so Stephen is, is a gentleman that owns the uh, San Juan Smokehouse. We do all our meetups over there. I always play, pay for the first round of beers. He pays for the second. Very nice guy. Good entrepreneur and a hell of a degen. He is my degen in charge. And when I want to know something about uh, the degen coins, I just go to him. So I'm going to let you in on that little secret. And there is a link in the description where you can follow Stephen for what's going on. And that's pretty much where I got this information from. So you can just see here on, and we had talked about Costco hot dog before, and it was this crazy, stupid meme that he posted on March 27th. And we was just talking about, and again, I think this is like one of his many posts he puts on it. He goes, look, the highly technical analysis of the fair market value is at $1.50 per hot dog, which puts it at a billion market cap. 
And I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's funny. That's cute. And, uh, when I was yesterday, when I was looking at it, I was like, you know, uh, I should probably get into this, you know, at some point, this was Thursday and it was a funny thing. First of all, I actually talked about this on NFA live on Thursday morning. So, uh, to, to, to understand everything about this is that if you're going to do stuff like this, which I don't recommend, it's just gambling. You're going to need the contract address. And of course, whenever you're doing this, like when I had to, cause, cause Steven told me about it. I'm like, okay, Costco hot dog. Maybe if I put that into uh, Jupiter or Orca, and let's just see like this, All right? Let's go. Let's take, let's, let's type in hot dog. Well, there's Costco hot dog. That's pretty good. Or if I put in like, if I put in Costco, Costco executive member, there's Costco, Costco combo hot dog and soda, Costco hot cat, Costco hot dog. How do I know that's the real one? Well, I don't. What I need is the contract address. So when you're looking for these things, like when I went to <clears throat> the X account for Costco hot dog, and there's a plethora of different ones out there that'll, that are scams as well. What I take a look at is I'm like, okay, who, who follows these guys? And when I click on the people who follow them, well, I know Plasma. Well, I know all these guys, right? Alan Barty, Jake, Mario, Nafal, Neff, and there's Stephen right there. And actually, this is another good guy to, to follow if you want to do some DGEN stuff. So I'm like, okay, this is the right one. And I can see that the contract address is there. So let me do this. Let me make sure this is right. So if you ever do this and come over here and you're looking for the actual right meme coin, or this, this is for any any coin. This, this goes on Uniswap. This goes on Radium. This goes on Jupiter. I mean, all the different DEXs, you need the contract address. And when you do that, like, okay, that's the right one. Great. So I actually purchased it right after this show. So real quick, I want you to, uh, you, can, you can see Ben's face when I'm like talking about altcoins. He's like, oh, here we go. Just take a listen to this. Hold on real quick. I don't know. There is also a poll on poly market for, for this too, uh, for the SBF sentencing. And I think I have it somewhere. Let me have a little look. Is there any way to gamble on that? Just kidding. But yeah, sounds like it's something to do. Rob, you got meme coins for that. <laughs> oh, I found I found a great meme coin, everybody. So like uh, there's this new meme coin. Wait, how it's do I called, do that? <laughs> it's called Costco Dog. Oh and it's it, it's oh. a meme coin of the Costco dog from a of a dollar fifty. And it, <laughs> okay. So yeah. So that was me talking about it there. Big, big deal. No big deal. And so what'd you do? So I bought some. This was on March 28th, right? And then of course, if we come over here to deck screener, if I want to find that itself, I put in the contract address. There's Costco dog. And we can back this up over the last month or so. And yeah, on the 28th, for some reason I got lucky. I got lucky on this and I got pretty much rugged on the other one, right? Because that's just how it works. So we start off around here and then whew, up it goes, and then it's consolidating. But the whole reason I bring this stuff up is there's a couple of reasons. First of all, this is all risky, right? And some might say, well, Rob, if you're not talking about risky stuff, this should be on Dan Dijon. You shouldn't really talk about it here. No, 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 no. There's lessons here. There's a very important lessons as a matter of fact. And this goes not just into the meme coins, this goes into safety, this goes into the rules, and this goes into something that you really should carry for yourself and really think hard about this going into the bull market. Now, here's what I'm talking about. So what are the rules? The rules are, it's all gone. You can't invest more, you can afford to lose. I've seen too many people do this and they screw up and then they're crying their eyes out during the, the, the next bear market because they got swallowed up into the hype. You can't do that. Next one, everything's a scam until proven otherwise. Don't leave it on exchanges, don't use leverage and take profits. That last one is so important. If you screw this up, this will be an awful cycle for you. So what do you do? As hard as it is, and it's, and it's what we could think of ourselves, well, you know, hey, Costco hot dog could go to the moon. Hey, uh, Cardano could go all the way up back to its all-time high of $3 and then to $10. Hey, 
this top 50 go up. Hey, Bitcoin is here and it's going to an ETF. And of course, there's all this institutional money and microstrategy in El Salvador. So, hey, it's going to be a million dollars. I'm telling you right now, if you don't take profits, it's going to be harsh. And people will, it's every single time I go through a bull market, it happened in 2017, it happened in 2021, and it's happening right now. And I see the same things. So you take profits. What I do is when things double, I take out my initial investment. I let it ride. When it doubles again, I take it out. When it doubles again, I take it out. I keep doing that until I can't do it anymore. And then it goes to zero. I don't really care because I made my money. I'm happy. Didn't lose it. Didn't blow it. Everything's good. Same thing happened today. So, you know, I had to take another, another, another salon out. First of all, I had to take two salon out in the very beginning. Because why? Because I lost one from gambling. And today I took another one. And when, when Costco hot dogs doubles or quadruples, I'll take that again. So just remember that. Now, my man Steven here, he's up 61,000. I'm not sure if he's taking profits. I would assume that he has, but that's up to him. If you want to, you want to follow him, great information. That's all I'm saying. So everything's good, right? Everything's great. Rob made this great trade. Everything's in the clear. No, no. There's two things that'll screw up. First of all, this is what I was getting to as far as the Solana ecosystem and the wallet drains. I put this out this morning. Solana ecosystem, was it this morning? Hold on, I can't remember when I put this out. No, it was this morning. Solana ecosystem allegedly grappling with drained attacks due to unauthorized access. Reports have surfaced indicating that the Solana ecosystem is facing a barrage of drained attacks, resulting in financial losses due to unauthorized access. The situation has prompted projects like Compendium to issue urgent warnings, urging users to revoke their permissions from decentralized apps in a bid to safeguard their funds. If you're looking to know how to do that, it's very simple. In any of your hot wallets, first of all, when you're using hot wallets, you have to understand, in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, this money's gone because it's a hot wallet. It's constantly connected to the internet and that's probably gonna go away. I try to move this as fast as I possibly can into a cold storage devices, like my tangent, like my ledger, but they don't always support all the different crazy meme coins and stuff that I've gotten into. So I try to sell those, put them into a top tier coin and then transfer them out. So if you're looking for this, for your uh, wallet itself, for Phantom, you just click on the three, the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner. You click on settings and then you go to, let me see if it comes back again. Ah, active networks. No, 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 connected apps. And then you one by one disconnect all these apps so they can't drain you. Now. I haven't gotten drained yet, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So I try to shoot, move as much as I possibly can. Imagine that you make all this money and you're very happy. And what happens? You get drained. So who's making the most money? It's the hackers, unless you do something about it right now. So I'll get off my soapbox. In response to the escalating threat, attention has turned to Bonk Bot. A telegram trading bot operating within the Solana network as a possible source of breach. However, developers associated with the project have denied any claims while admitting that exploits have indeed emerged within the broader Solana ecosystem. According to statements released by the Bonk bot team, victims whose wallets fall prey to compromise had previously exported their private keys, thereby unknowingly exposing themselves to security vulnerabilities. What that means is when you're talking about exporting your private keys, you can connect different hot wallets. Like for example, I can connect this phantom hot wallet that I have on my Brave browser and I can connect it to my phone into the phantom app that I download. If I, can, if I chose to do such things and I export my private keys, then they can be connected and I can use both. And that's what they're talking about here. So if that's being done, you're at a higher risk of it being drained. Am I telling you that you're going to absolutely get it drained? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you should take precautions as much as possible. That's all I'm saying. And this is the way to take out the permissions from all the different dApps that you have available on your hot wallets. That's all I'm saying. Or just don't, or just minimize your hot wallet use. Anyhow, users who refrain from exporting their keys remain safe as the bonk bot team assures the community. And then, of course, there's a bunch of uh, comments, but this one got to me. It was uh, Shashwat. And he says, man, you're just 16 hours too late. Just happened. I don't even know which dad was responsible. I said, man, you got drained? He said, yeah. I said, that's awful. He goes, thanks. Thankfully, he listened. 
The amount wasn't much, but I had almost 5 x it in two months and did not take profits. I was stupid. Okay, so <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't have too much in the wall. That's good, but it didn't take any profits. That's not so good. You claim to not be our dad, but my dad and you are so close in age. I'll say close enough. <laughs> Thanks for being there, internet fake dad. Hey, I'll take it. If it helps <laughs> some people, I'm good. So these are the things that are going on. Again, this is not a Solana issue. This is an ecosystem issue. This is going on with wallets, and this is what is actually happening. And then this is not just in that thread, but I, I found this as well uh, from Spezas. He says, I'm, I'm officially done with crypto and NFTs. All it took was one F and hack for me to lose it all. Liquidation of all my other assets on the other chains. Because if this is through Phantom, you know you can have uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum on Phantom as well. I'm also going to live paycheck to paycheck. God's been sending me signs for a while. Guess was the last one. Been nice knowing you. For anyone asking, I did nothing. I was actively driving when I saw the notific notification from Phantom. I don't usually use my phone while driving. But seeing the notification from Phantom freaked me out. Drained, empty, done. And that's it. That sucks. You know, that sucks. And it happens. And lastly, to really put a big damper on this whole video, because I'm not going to let you get away with it. I'm not going to let you guys walk out of this video and feel super pumped about something. I must be a wet blanket. I must. This is from Patrick McKenzie. And he says, he works for, he's an advisor to Stripe. Stripe, big a uh, big company that says uh, integration for online payments. I use them actually. And I said, never forget through all the hype and the nonsense that's out there, it can all go south fast. Nothing, and I mean nothing is guaranteed investments. Real estate goes sideways. I've been I've been a part of those, many of them, now a couple. Precious metals, equities, crypto, et cetera. Everything can go down. Things might not go up. Things can go to zero. I don't think precious metals are going to zero, but whatever. And this was, uh, he said, this is a paradigm, uh, paradigmatic example of why we have securities laws. I'm not going to get into that part, but I just want to remind everybody about this, the last cycle. Witness is a pharmacist from California. The witness states, I learned of Doquan. I looked for a stable coin and came to UST. SEC lawyer, how'd you learn of UST? Articles online, YouTube videos. SEC lawyer, what did you hear? Witness says it was peg the dollar. It promised 20% of any return. I remember those days. I took out a $400,000 loan, Jeez. bought UST and put it in the anchor protocol. I looked at my investment every day. SEC lawyer, what happened next? May 9th, I started getting notification. There was a DPEG. Do Kwan tweeted, study lads. Oh, I think we all remember that. Deploying capital. And that he was working to restore the peg. What's this? That's the tweet. How much of your 400,000 you have left? $28,000. It's not bad, actually. You think you'd have nothing. Anyhow. Just want to give everybody a rounded observation of what's going on in the market. A lot of money to be made, a lot of money to be lost. And that's it for today. So, sorry if I killed your mood. Just want to give you reality. That's it for today. Like today's video. I don't know if you're, <laughs> if you're actually going to like it. Give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time and sensitive.